Big Tan Cook Island is a unique community located approximately six miles off the coast of mainland Nova Scotia. To get to the island, you have to take a ferry from Chester across Mahone Bay. It takes about an hour with a stop along the way at Little Tancook Island. Big Tancook is just one of Mahone Bay's 350 islands and measures only about four kilometers in length. The C-shaped island resembles a fishing hook, a symbol of survival and resilience for the fishing community that lives there. Big Tancook is home to a long, rich history and many unique traditions. One such custom involves leaving special seashore rocks with white quartz rings, called wishing stones, in places where people may need a bit of cheer. But you don't have to wish on a big Tancook wishing stone to get here. Let us take you on a quick trip to the island, where we'll leave no stone unturned. Mahone Bay and its many islands have long served as summer fishing grounds for the Mi'kmaq people. In fact, the word Tancook comes from the Mi'kmaq term meaning facing the open sea. Big Tancook was settled in the late 18th century by German and French families, mostly fishermen, whalers, and farmers. Today, many of the island's current residents can trace their ancestry back to these European settlers. The Tancook Cemetery draws people from all over to research their family heritage. These days, Big Tancook is home to about 120 full-time residents. This number almost doubles during the summertime, when homeowners return to soak up the sunny weather and sea air. However, the island is far from deserted. From June through August in a typical tourism year, the ferry brings thousands of visitors per month to the island to experience its natural beauty and charm. Historically, the island was known for its lobster, boat building, and sauerkraut businesses. Since the 1970s, however, only the fishing industry remains a prominent source of income for the islanders. In addition to the fishermen and women that call Big Tancook home, there are also many talented artists on the island. Browse the eclectic collection of handmade items and crafts at the Traveling Gypsy Shop, or watch chair caning and traditional rug hooking at Popple Rock, a cooperative of island artists. And if you haven't had your fill of Tancook culture yet, stop by the Wishing Stone, a library, art gallery, games room, and museum all in one. Not only does the Wishing Stone sell unique beach treasures, jewelry, and photos to memorialize your time there, but it also offers a space for locals and tourists alike to socialize and share stories. Big Tancook is a small, tight-knit community, but despite its size, it provides many of its own services. The island has its own post office, medic, fire department, recreation center, and church. Elementary age children attend the local school but older kids take the ferry to the mainland every day for class in Chester. Another thing that makes Tancook unique is its slow and leisurely atmosphere. Since the ferry typically only accepts passengers on foot or bike, there are few cars on the island. It is home to only dirt roads and a relatively untouched natural environment. Big Tancook's rocky coves, warm tides, and sandy coast makes it an ideal destination for beachgoers on the hunt for shells, beach glass, and even fossils. The island's secluded ecosystem also provides an opportunity to catch a glimpse of rare bird and snake species. If you're the outdoorsy type, Big Tancook offers camping and picnic areas, hiking trails, kayaking, bike rentals, beach bonfires, and stargazing. And if you're looking for a challenge, there are over 40 geocaches hidden around the island waiting to be discovered. While immersing yourself in Big Tancook's history is a great way to escape the fast-paced present, it is important to look towards the island's future as well. Climate scientists warn that sea levels could rise between 1 to 2.5 meters by the year 2100, which could pose a significant threat to Big Tancook's coastline. In November 2020, the Nova Scotia government announced that a new ferry will replace the 38-year-old William G. Ernst. The new ferry, expected to start service in 2022, will have an 18 car capacity and make 11 crossings per day. This decision appears to have divided Islanders. Supporters argue that the new ferry will improve access to essential services, create new economic opportunities, open the island up to tourism, and allow for the development of infrastructure. While opponents are worried that an increased presence of cars will ruin what draws people to the island in the first place, 
the lack of vehicles, and preserve natural environment. One thing that most residents can agree on is that the COVID-19 pandemic has hit their small fishing community hard. It will be more important than ever for Nova Scotians to support the Tancook Islanders as we settle into a new normal. You don't have to take our word for how stunning this place is. The Big Tancook Island Ferry is still operating at a reduced capacity for the health and safety of its passengers. Remember to practice social distancing and follow all COVID-19 protocols to ensure that everyone is safe. You can take a trip to the island to see its natural beauty for yourself and make a wish on a wishing stone. Your journey at Big Tancook Island is just a stone's throw away.